Hello everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. If this is your first time, hi, I am Natalie and I hope that you'll subscribe and stay a while. So today I thought I would do something that I haven't done in a while and that's just a good old fashioned vlog. What I'm gonna be doing today is just spending the day by myself. And I know that doesn't sound crazy and that's not something that is weird for a lot of people. Um, but I still have had to teach myself how to go and do things alone. Not only having gone through the pandemic as a single person, was I spending a lot of time alone. Spending time alone at home when you live alone is not wild. But I found myself only really going and doing things when I had somebody to go do them with. And so I've been making it a point to go and just live life, whether I have someone to come along or not, whether that's a friend, a partner, a, a relative, a loved one of some kind, anything. So currently with these little shadows on my face, I am in the Starbucks drive-through, um, gonna grab a coffee. And then I'm gonna take myself through the car wash over here. I have a membership. I have to deal with the shadows for a moment. Um, I have a monthly membership to the like car wash place that's over here um, by the Starbucks because I'm I go to the Starbucks a lot. So I was like, well, that'll remind me to go to the car wash. So I'm gonna get my car wash as you can see, lots of little spots. So this lighting's nice. And then I'm gonna be taking myself to a little town called Julian. Oh, there's a dog. <laughs> There's a really cute dog hanging out the car in front of me. It just popped out. I'm guessing it's waiting for its puppuccino. Okay, had to stop what I was doing because the, the line was going fast and I got my, my coffee. Um, my coffee order today was one of their shaken espressos. I only get them when I have like a reward um, because these are... I love the way they mix it and everything, but it's kind of expensive for what it is, but it's a lot of caffeine, which is what I want today. So Julian is a town about an hour away from San Diego, a little bit more, but it's a completely different feel than San Diego. Um, I've done Instagram stories before from when I went about a year and a half ago. No, was that this year? The last time I went was with my ex-boyfriend um, and that was a hard breakup. So I kind of told myself I wasn't going to be going there for a while, but I don't want to lose out on getting to go there. So now that was, that was earlier this year. So it's been about eight months or so since I've been, what is time anymore? It's a completely different feel. It very much feels more forest vibes. It's kind of like a small town that gets snow during the winter which is so funny that even an hour from san diego you would get snow there's all kinds of climate down here it's a little more cool um there are lots of beautiful trees but one thing that's there not only is it just beautiful to look at but they have really good barbecue there there's a really good barbecue restaurant and i've been kind of nostalgic for barbecue the past few days so um i'm gonna go do that kind of hang out edit some stuff that I need to edit, uh, walk around. Um, I need to shoot some uh, work for Fabletics. This is not sponsored or anything, but it's just something I gotta get done while I'm out today. There's just some stuff I gotta get done and I wanna take y'all with me. But first up, let's get this, uh, let's get this little dusty car uh, washed. Okay, so I lied. Um, I just Googled and the barbecue place I wanna go to doesn't open until 11. And it, like I said, it only takes about an hour to get there and it's about nine o'clock right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop at a Target that's um, up here along the way. Just look around, kind of just waste time, not looking to buy anything, but Target will tell me if I have to buy something. If you saw, um, about a week ago, I got home from visiting one of my best friends in the world, Katana, who lives up in Portland. And I road tripped all the way up the coast and all the way back by myself, which was a, a trip in and of itself. But it was awesome. And Oregon was beautiful. I literally, like, I'm not quite sure if I think Oregon is more beautiful or if Southern California is more beautiful. And that pains me to say because I am very attached to Southern California. Um, 
but it was stunning and I'm really kind of missing those vibes, especially because they get seasons and obviously we don't. It's pretty much the same temperature all year long. Um, and so I'm hoping in Julian that it's got a little bit of cozy vibes. Um, and so I'm just looking forward to just, you know, getting out there and enjoying it. finished up my Target trip and now I feel really bad because this Target is so much better than the one that I went to for the um in the fitting room there was so many more options they had the designer dress collab or the designer clothing collab like they had the Ulta in the store they had so much so now I know for all future in the fitting rooms, I will be coming to this one. I was unfortunately spoken to by the uh, Target powers that be and did buy some stuff. Now, I didn't try anything on because I didn't feel like putting in the, the effort. So I got my receipt in case I need to return anything, but I'll do a little Target haul so y'all can see what I got. Clothing wise from the designer drop, this Neely Lotan um, dress was one that I've had in my cart this since before the the collab even went live this was one I was really interested in I never thought I would be stoked on paisley but I love the brown tones of this and it, I think it's gorgeous it's basically a slip dress um I'm sure I'll be showing it on um Instagram and everything but it's just a long kind of like midi dress below the knee above the ankle um slip dress in a beautiful like burnt orange and brown and cream uh, paisley pattern. Also from the design collab uh, from Rachel Comey, I got a wide leg denim jumper. It has the cuffed bottom with nice wide legs. It is full length, has a belted waist, big pockets, and I think this touch is really cute. A completely zippered front. I know it's silly to show you things in the car, but I really don't feel like going in the dressing room and trying them on right now not part of the designer collab this is from who what wear which is a really beautiful kind of a little more fashion forward chic um brand within target um it's just a little cropped uh long sleeve sweater this isn't an xxl i wanted it to be a little bit more fitted and a little bit more cropped i plan on wearing this as a top with jeans high-waisted leggings something of the sort even um to wear over like slip dresses things like that i think this is adorable i loved the camely color it was beautiful and then i'll insert footage of the fact that they absolutely did have the ulta um section which is really cool because you can actually earn and and spend your Ulta rewards just like you can at a store. Um, I'm really sad that the Target right near my house doesn't have it um, because one, it's closer to my house, but two, there's an Ulta not even half a mile from here. So there's Ulta here in the Target and now an Ulta there, but this is just a condensed version, but they did have some of my favorite products that I wanted to restock on. The Whey Dry Shampoo, I'll link these things down below. This is probably my favorite dry shampoo, one, because I like the way that it works, as well as the smell is amazing. It smells so good. And this bottle lasts me a hot while. So I would say at least two months this bottle lasts. Next up is a new to me product. Um, I saw this on TikTok. People were saying it was really good, so I wanted to try it. This is from Dry Bar, and it's the Liquid Glass Miracle Smoothing Sealant, and it says it lasts through three washes so that's really cool um this is supposed to be used on damp hair or I would give it a spritz in my hair now obviously as you can tell I am mostly blonde now so anything to help with frizz and shine which I'm very lucky my hair is still very healthy after two complete like bleaching highlights um rounds of blonde but I want to keep it that way and so if this is going to help with it being smooth and shiny I am all for trying this and dry bar their stuff always smells really good too 
And last up, not very exciting, but I got a white eyeliner from NYX. Also from TikTok, there is this like viral um, makeup trick going around where you add white eyeliner to um, points around your eye. I know it sounds strange, but there's four little dots that you put around your eye and it supposedly it unconsciously helps people really hone in on your eyes um, and for them to like not really understand why they're honing in on it. But it's just a little fun thing. Plus, um, I love a good winged eyeliner with um, white. I think it looks really cute. So yeah, that is my Target haul. It's about 10 o'clock now. So I'm going to go ahead and head to Julian and yeah, let's go on the road. made it to Julian and of course I'm going to insert footage of the drive here. Um, it was actually a little bit more than an hour um, purely because you have to go slow um, on really windy roads. Um, you kind of um, go up not into the mountains per se but more mountainous than sea level obviously. Um, oh, I just saw like four butterflies and butterflies are one of my like signs like you're doing good signs I needed to see that I'm having some unexpected feels um, as soon as I got here one last time I came I was with somebody I was really in love with um, and so not only am I back without them but I'm alone I'm catching some feels about seeing so many families together and so many couples and things like that and like I love love so much um friendship familial relationship you know partnership whatever um and like the purpose of me taking the time and energy and like the initiative to do things alone is because I don't feel like I should miss out on doing things in life um, just because I don't have somebody to go with me. And I have friends that I could call up and, you know, ask to go do stuff, but I think it's, it's important to spend that time on yourself. It really forces you to get to know yourself really well. Um, it forces you to try new things. I always end up, even if it's just casual, you know, in passing conversation, you end up talking to new people. Um, and I just, I made a promise to myself, especially going through the pandemic, like the thick of the pandemic alone, that I wasn't going to waste time alone, um, waiting on something that may come soon, may not come soon, or may never come. Um, I truly hope to be in a relationship one day. I hope to have a family. Um, but that's not the only reason I was put on this earth. And same goes for anybody. Um, I deserve to have adventures and good times and moments of unabashed joy even if I'm sharing it with just myself um and so I'm just I'm gonna do it alone I'm gonna go have a beautiful lunch and walk around and have a good time I got this I gotta pee <laughs>
Alrighty, I am back in my car after all my little adventures. I was in town for about four hours. Um, it was so, it was really nice. Um, I went ahead and left because it got really busy. I totally spaced that tomorrow was a holiday. Um, and, holiday. And so a bunch of people were going to be out. So there was like, I'm lucky I got in and out before the like the big rushes came um but uh you'll see footage of all of this i had a really delicious lunch at julian beer company i got slices of pie at uh mom's i got some um some like oh i'll show you jarred stuff at julian cider mill i got pumpkin butter which tis the season And I got toasted pecan syrup. I mean, come on, that just sounded delicious. I almost got um, maple praline uh, syrup, but the toasted pecan sounded really good. And it was a smaller jar, so I figured that would be good. Also, I stopped and got um, some hot apple cider, which is hilarious because now it's up to almost 80 degrees. <laughs> I got the hot apple cider at Regulars Wanted, the little coffee shop. I was going to show y'all the cute uh, barbecue place, but there was literally so many people that I didn't feel comfortable filming because I would absolutely just get so many people's faces in it. I know this vlog is probably going to be pretty long, even though it's just a single day, uh, but I did a bunch and I wanted to show y'all everything. Um, I absolutely... <sighs> I absolutely was confronted with like everywhere I looked, it was couples and families. Um, and even if it wasn't couples or families, it was people with friends. And I have so many friends, like friends are never ever, I am so incredibly like grateful and lucky to have so many friends. But that's not the point of these solo things. It's not because I don't have anybody, it's that I need to do more things on my own. Um, as you know, I had a relationship for many years and I can't believe that it's already coming up on almost two years that that's been over. Um, it blows my mind every day. It's really hard. Um, but then, you know, I was in a relationship that was something I was very, very invested in. Um, I keep seeing butterflies everywhere and notice how I keep seeing butterflies when I'm talking about how like not sad, but just very aware of my singleness. I am, I think it's a sign that it's going to be, or I know that butterflies are my, it's okay. You're in the right place at the right time, uh, sign. And I saw them when I was coming in and talking about this and I just saw them again. <sighs> Something I've been talking about on Instagram and I'll, you know, I'll say it quickly here. I know y'all are probably wanting to go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. But um, I've made a promise to myself that I'm going to have a beautiful life. I'm going to have a big, beautiful adventure filled love filled life even if i'm doing it on my own and i know i'm not 90 years old but i am in my mid 30s and your clock ticks loud and i'm not where i thought i would be in life um in very good and very scary ways I very much thought I would have a family, be married, all of that stuff. And that's just not how it's worked out for me yet at this point. And I am making every effort to make peace with that and to be very grateful for all the ways that my life has absolutely floored me in the best ways of where I get to live, what I get to do, who I get to know. It's such a gift and I don't ever want to take that for granted. Um, I am grateful for days like today. Um, I went out 
to a bar by myself a few nights ago and had fun. I'm just trying to remember that alone and lonely are two different things and it's okay to feel lonely, but that I'm, I'm not going through this life alone, um, even if I have no partner, that I am so lucky to have so many loves in my life. So lucky to have so many loves in my life. I have best friends that are, I am 1 billion percent sure are my soulmates. I have pets that I feel are absolute soulmates. I have family that are my soulmates. Um, and if relationship come into my life that is only a bonus and it is not a milestone that I won't be able to live without. I will have a beautiful life regardless and I'm trying to tell myself that every day or at least every time I get defeated about it. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't mean to cry. The butterflies really hit me hard. Um, I appreciate y'all watching. Okay, no more tears because today was a good day. Um, I appreciate y'all watching. Also, too, please let me know what you think about the quality. This is um, a new iPhone and um, I have a vlogging camera, but it's starting to go like it's starting to go on the fritz and so I don't want to depend on it and I don't want to make any excuses that I don't have that camera. So if this is, if the quality looks good to me, um, we'll see when I go to edit it. But, um, yeah, I appreciate y'all coming along with me. And before you see this one, you'll be seeing the in the fitting room at Target. Um, and like I said, I can't believe the other Target was so much cooler. We will go to that one from now on. Um, but thank you again so much for watching. If there is anything that I can link throughout the, you know, throughout the video, if anything is applicable, it'll be in the description box. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Thank you for being here.